Yeah. Yeah. What side does it come with? Uh, some of fries. Yeah. Are the fries plant based? Today I've got something that you may have seen in the press. It's caused some outrage on the internet, mainly from idiots. But anyway, let's have a look. It's from Hungry Jack, the Rebel Whopper. Now, when I heard that Hungry Jacks were doing plant-based beef patties, I thought, I have to try that. So I also got some chips, whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna get straight into this one. Some people have been complaining that I uh, don't eat things quick enough and talk too much. But anyway, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Well, actually, first I'm gonna have a look. So this is uh, what it looks like. So just remember, this is completely free of beef. This is um, completely plant-based. Not a single cow had to die for this. So well done to the cows. Anyway, I'm just gonna have a try. Hmm. Hmm. Now it's been a while since I've had a Whopper, so can't fully compare it. Maybe I should have two side by side. This and the Whopper side by side. Apparently, the head of Hungry Jacks was fooled by that. I'm just gonna try the beef by itself, or sorry, beef patty. So that looks pretty close to the beef based patty. Yeah, if you hadn't told me that that was plant-based, I would have assumed it was cow-based. It's not bad, actually, not bad. Actually got this from the Bean Lee Hungry Jacks. Hard to believe that Bean Lee went so long without Hungry Jacks. It really seemed like the prime place for a Hungry Jacks. And that particular Hungry Jacks is interesting because it buttresses the Bean Lee State High School Animal Husbandry Department with like a cow paddock, just cows wandering around. So you can go into Hungry Jack's, get a Whopper and look at a cow as you eat, you know, one of his fallen brethren, or one of her fallen brethren rather. Or you can get one of the plant-based burgers now and as you eat the plant-based Whopper, you can like look at the cow and just, I'm doing this for you, buddy. I'm helping you out. So, you know, you can feel good about yourself while eating a Whopper at the same time. It does have a sort of smoky flavor, which I think they've added in later. It doesn't taste completely natural. It tastes like that smoke in a bottle thing that you can get. I've seen some weird comments online. People get irrationally quite angry at this new plant-based beef stuff. I won't be back if you are going to pander to the vegans. I've just had my last Hungry Jack's burger. Well, it looks like I won't be eating at Hungry Jack's again. I mean, it's not compulsory. You don't have to get the plant-based beef. You can still get beef-based beef. It's pretty good. It was, uh, the meal was like $11. I don't know how much a Whopper meal is these days, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same price as a normal beef Whopper. So that's good. This imitation meat, it is uh, more expensive a lot of the time, which, um, you know. Yeah, so if I can divide it into two separate marks, how it compares to beef and then how it is just by itself. Next to beef, it's not quite as juicy. It's not quite as flavorsome. The texture is a bit funnier. It doesn't crumble in the same way a beef patty does. If that makes sense. It's kind of stuck together. It has a slight chipboard sort of resemblance with like flat interlocking splinters of plant matter. I mean, I guess it actually does have a lot more in common with chipboard than it does a beef patty, really, when you think about it. Chipboard is also plant-based, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. You know, another thing that Bogans get just bizarrely angry about is the idea of vegetarians and vegans having something that resembles food. I can't understand vegans. They don't eat meat, but they want the taste of meat in their food. It's like they get angry that someone is enjoying a meat-like product that doesn't involve the slaughter of a large beast. I don't know why you'd get angry about that. 
just let people enjoy things. If Hungry Jacks wants to sell a product, you don't have to buy it. I mean, whatever that cheeseburger is with the white sauce running off of it, to me that looks disgusting, but I'm not about to boycott Hungry Jacks because they're selling some weird cheese gravy burger thing. No, I'll just not buy it and carry on with my life and not complain about it on the internet. I don't know why it's called a rebel burger. I mean, it's not that rebellious to like not slaughter a cow. I don't know, weird. In fact, I would imagine that rather than being rebels, the food scientists that came up with this plant-based beef are probably huge nerds, not rebels at all. I also got some chips. So really not bad. If there was some super virus that wiped out all cows and uh, this was all you could get, you know, it's not a bad alternative to beef really. If And if you want to eat something that doesn't require the destruction of a magnificent beast, then, uh, you know, you're in luck. This is pretty good. Does a, does a guy called Tyler still work here? Does a guy called Tyler still work here? Uh, He's got like a weird shaped head. I have no idea. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs>